Hey guys, Cloudwolf here, and today I am back with a quick little tutorial video uh, that actually covers the full 1.9 command play sound because uh, I had a request from Aiden10092 Mullert, and he wanted me to basically make a, a tutorial on how to use the command itself other than just the changes, which is what my other video is labeled Minecraft 1.9 play sound command but it doesn't really go over the whole command itself it just kind of goes over some weird changes that they made but without further ado this video is going to just cover uh, this video is just going to cover the command itself and all the little parts and what you need to do with it how it works and different little tips and tricks for it anyway so first off you have the play sound command itself and I'm not going to go over it yet I'm first going to show you a little demonstration <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to turn up my music and sound a little bit. There we go. And let's hear that again. Anyway, so that's, <laughs> that's a dying horse. And I just decided to use that because I thought that was kind of entertaining. No puns or jokes, hidden jokes intended, even though there are. Anyway, so uh, so how play sound works. So first you're going to type slash play sound. And you want to do it into a command block typically. You can do it into your chat. And it actually has a good useful little usage hint here that comes up, uh, but if most people that are going to use this are going to put it in a command block. So you type slash play sound, and then you put space, and then you start finding what you want to find. So uh, I have my page which has useful links. There's now tons of them, but I believe mine was the first. Uh, besides that, if you want to find a block, you're going to start by typing blocks, block, and then tab. Hit the tab key and uh, it'll come up with this Minecraft block and then you can start typing what block you want like gravel and then hit a tab again and it'll put a dot if it's correct and then what you want to make the sound fall whatever anyway so for this we're gonna do entity and hit tab and then horse and then tab and then death and there we go so right now it's not gonna do anything because you need to designate what the source is so I'm not quite sure I didn't find any like anything on the wiki or anything about uses of source because for source just put master just put type master in there and uh, you can put whatever you want you can actually put voice you can put player there's a couple other sources that you can choose from voice music player hostile record weather neutral block ambient and master i believe it reduces lag if you pick the correct one to go to but if you pick player it'll still play the horse if you play rec put record it'll still play the horse sound uh, it may just be a lag reducing thing but i just pick master anyway because i don't have too many of these going on so this will still not work yet because now you have to and it'll say there's an error but now you have to de designate the who is going to hear this so at a is what i do you can do at p you can do at a in a radius you can do anything you want i'm just going to do at a for this and now it'll actually play the sound and you can hear the beautiful horse dying Anyway, so that's not all though. Now you can designate XYZ coordinates, volume, pitch, min volume. So the XYZ coordinates are where it's actually going to be played. So it may be kind of deceiving seeing the at A. You may think that it's going to be played at every player, no matter where they are in the world. Um, here's a quick little example. You click this, you hear that voice sound, right? Now I go over here and click this, and it sounds a little more distant. Now I go over here. And it's even more distant and I go over here and it's the furthest away you can't even hear it so with the at a is who can hear it so it doesn't dictate where it can be heard so you're going to put tilde 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 and these three tildes mean the block that is the command block so if you're doing well just use tilde 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 for now at the end I'll show like a little tip anyway so you're going to have it played right here at the command block which it'll still do the same thing where if I'm way over here it sounds not as loud so there's a way to fix this. There's two ways you can fix this. Uh, the first way is with the next part of the command, which is volume. So volume is how many blocks it can be heard away from. So if I set this volume to one, it'll sound the same because it's default of one. So it'll be the same loudness. But if I set this to something crazy like a thousand, no matter how far away I'm gonna go, I have to go a thousand blocks away in order to not hear it once I'm in the room. Now you may think, wait a sec. He put the radi He put the uh, he put the volume to a thousand. So if I click the button from a thousand blocks away, it should be good. And it is. I'm just stupid because I did not put a repeater. Sorry about that. Anyway, but yeah, no matter how far away you are, you'll still hear it. 
And if I go a million blocks away and make all these repeaters go, you'll still hear it. Because it is a thousand blocks away. And you can change this to, I, I don't even know the max. I think the max may be some crazy ridiculous number. So you can just, if you don't want to mess with any of the commands, just set this to a really high number. And yeah, deal with it. So you can do like 100,000. Anyway, so, but we're going to put it back to 1. Then the next part of this command is pitch, which I don't know why pitch splits the volume and the min volume, but pitch is in between. So if you set the pitch to 1, you click the button, it sounds normal. Now we can set the pitch to 0, and it sounds really funny. <laughs> and you can set the pitch to 2, and it's a really high pitch, so that would be like a baby horse dying which is always fun. Anyway, so, and you can also do things weird like 0 0.5, which is half, 0 0.5, which is halfway in between. You can go, so it's, if you, with certain pitches, you can change it just a little bit, like 0 0.75, and you can see that's somewhere in between the two. You can just mess around with this number to get the perfect sound that you want, that really deep or really high-pitched sound that you want. Like. Anyway, so the last one is the minimum volume. Just set it to 1. I mean, I don't know why you would want to mess with the minimum volume. Don't even do it. It's not really good. Anyway, but if you want to be very specific, this is what this is my little secret. This is what I do, and I think everybody else does it. So, instead of having all these right next to the place where you want it to be. Like, for example, if I have a uh, trap, I don't want to put the command block there. I want to put it in a big, nice room with a bunch of command blocks in it. That way you don't have issues. Uh, you go back to the beginning of the command and you type slash execute at a tilde 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 space. And that's all you do. So now, no matter how far away I am, it's going to play the sound at me. Instead of playing it at the command block because it's executing at me so basically the command block is teleporting over to me and then it's doing the following play sound command where I am. So that's pretty much all for the play sound command. There's a couple more things. I didn't really go too in depth and I probably got some things wrong. Uh, probably like that radius. I don't, I'm not really sure that's radius is weird. Uh, the minimum volume. But anyway, other than that, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you need anything more, any more command help, I don't know, with execute or whatever, uh, just leave a post in the comments, and I would be happy to do a quick tutorial on it. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.